What up, it's War Chief, and today we're going to talk about the chords modes in Machine. And if you like my content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe. And let's get into it. Chord mode, let's go. We got Ableton open up right here. Let's uh, get, I already got Machine, and I already preset a little piano. I'll play it for you right now. Nothing too fancy. All right, these are my biggest concerns about this chord uh, setup. The chord mode. Um, you cannot access it in the doll. In machine, you cannot access it. You have to have the machine controller to access the chords mode. And it is so dumb. I don't know why they just don't put it in the the actual DAW itself. And if I'm wrong, please tell me I'm wrong. And if you know how to do it, let me know. Because I would really appreciate if you could show me how to open up the chords mode in the doll. So after that said, if you don't have the hardware, you won't be able to do this. That's a just a warning. Okay, I will uh, go to a view showing you the MK2 and how to set up the chord mode. Uh, let's go. All right, this is the uh, MK2 micro machine. You're going to want to first press uh, pad mode and then to lock in uh, pad mode, you're going to want to press F1, it locks in the keys. So now you can play uh, chromatically or whatever. To get to the options, you're gonna wanna hold pad mode. It'll say root note. We are gonna use F3, note F, octave three. It's very important, very, very important. And then go over, it'll give you the scale type. Go over again, chord mode. Chord mode is off, so we are going to go to chord set. So the chord set is, like, I am not very good at piano, and I don't know all the chords or anything, but it gives you eight, eight different pages of major scales, and then eight different pages of minor scales. So let's do minor one. It's in the key of F, so just reminding you. I'm going to go to minor two. Minor three. Let's do four. You're not always going to get them to sound great because a lot of chords might not sound right together. But this is a good way to get ideas for your music because if you have a scale you're playing an F and then you have chords you're playing an F, it will match up probably pretty great. So I'm going to do a little demonstration for you. We're going to record in some notes for chords and then I'm just going to randomly hit uh, some notes on the, the same scale in F. So this is how we're going to do it. Let's record. All right, and we are gonna put this in Ableton. We are just gonna drag it over to a, let's just drag it over to a MIDI. No, let's not do the, uh, and then it's probably not in time, so we're gonna right click, quantize, and then it should be all sounding good. Let's get a serum patch loaded up. I might fast forward all this so you guys don't see all this happening. All right, so we got it in Ableton. We got the chords. It shows you the whole layout and everything. We dragged it over. And then I'm going to go back in a machine, and then we are going to pick a different pattern, set that to four bars, and then we are going to go to the scale mode, and I'm just going to pick a, a scale and then play along with it and show you how it sounds. It sounds pretty good. It sounds like it's in key and everything. It sounds great. And uh, probably in the next video, we'll talk about scales. So uh, this, let's, let me just play something for you. Let me find something good. Okay. 
All right, and we are going to record right now. So drag that over. It's not in time or anything. It's not in special. Um, yeah, we'll put it in audio. Oh, it didn't go in audio. And then we will get a serum. Sounds like crap, but you probably get the point. If I fix this up right here, it would probably sound better uh, if we get the grids right. Go back in the machine and then we'll replay this. We'll go to pattern three. Set of four bars. I just, it just sounded really bad. So we're going to make it sound better. So that was my whole intention. I don't want to leave you guys listening to the crap off the video. You know what I mean? It just won't sound right. Just won't be like, man, that sounded like crap. No, we're not going to do that. We don't sound like crap over here at the chief headquarters. Anyways, I'm going to record and play some random notes and it should fit. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. All right, here we go. We're good now. That sounds a lot better. And we are going to shift and quantize all that. And then we are going to drag it into an audio. There we go. Got it all now. Sometimes machine doesn't want to work properly. I've been having trouble with machine lately. Ever since the uh, this new update came out. I don't know why. Just with the little things. But anyways. I will let this play so you can hear it uh, better than it was. More proper. And uh, yeah. Let's give it a listen. Nothing too fancy, but it does sound in key. It sounds like it should be together, and that's what we want. We want everything to sound in key. So probably the next video is going to be talking about the scales. So I cannot wait to make that one. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Hope not, though. But anyways, tell me what you think about this chords mode. Do you use it? Do you not use it? Do you use something else? Like, there's Cthulhu. There's, uh... That's the only other one I know. <laughs> There's those. And um, yeah, make sure to uh, like the video, subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. See ya. Peace.